Hi everyone, welcome. I'm out here in my yard and it's um it's kind of unusual for me to be in short sleeves because it's the first week of January. I live in central New Jersey where the temperature in mid-January is usually much, much colder than it is here today. And it's because of these really unusually mild temperatures that I thought that I'd have a little bit of a window of an opportunity here to deal with something that's going on with what I refer to as my compost barrel. This is really nothing more than a trash can, just like the one you see next to it. The only reason I refer to it as my compost barrel, quote unquote barrel, is because I compost in it. <laughs> That's the only reason. Every, um, every little bit of trimmings off my garden, every time I go pulling weeds, which unfortunately doesn't happen as frequently as it should, scraps from the kitchen, you name it, everything ends up in here. and. Despite the fact that it's got a constant, never-ending supply of stuff being piled into it, you can see that its level is somewhere over here at around two-thirds of the way, and that's got to be years worth of stuff stacked into there. I couldn't even tell you how long it's been since I last emptied this thing out, but guess what? I think the day has come for me to finally deal with it. The main reason, I believe, is because of this um, crack over here. You know, I'm worried that it's just going to spread and become really bad so my idea was to Im implement a repair on this very similar to one that i had already done once prior and that's why i bought this light colored trash pail out here to just show what my idea for this was and i really didn't want to take a lot of time on this i didn't plan to have like a you know a play-by-play -play video about it i just thought i'd bring the camera out here and i would um maybe capture some highlights of the work in progress because the contents of this system is always very interesting to see what's going on. My aim is going to be to simply empty it into my wheelbarrow, fix the container, and then right back into here with the large chunk materials. But at the same time, all of the stuff that's been in here for who knows how long now, a lot of this stuff that doesn't even require any breakdown anymore, I think I'm going to see what I could do about trying to separate that stuff out. Like I said, though, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I'm going to kind of force myself to be um, expeditious. So let's get started. So since this barrel is extremely heavy, hard to manipulate, I wanted to try to prevent myself from needing to take the entirety of it and dump it into the wheelbarrow. So what I decided was that using this little three gallon bucket here, I can kind of offload some of the stuff that's clearly going back into the into the system after we finish here look at all these worms coming up to hang out in these potato peels and be amongst all these decomposing foods you think they'd be all about the material that's down low but they're surface feeders so they're just compelled to make their way up into the stuff on the surface but as we um as we start working our way down, you can see we're already right, right into some fairly rich stuff. But still, I figured a few gallons of this stuff over here, the stuff that clearly needs more time before it can be classified as broken down, we're just going to um, kind of get it out of our way and try to minimize the, the potential for issues here. I also thought I would sort of bring the um, camera over because I am going to encounter something that I did feature a video on, which was the introduction of this shoe box here, which was loaded with a bunch of tomatoes. And I figured before it all just sort of gets blended together and whatever, whatever state of this so-called experiment is at this point is where it ends because I'm not going to be attempting to preserve that. You can see that the tomatoes that were in that shoe box are still kind of here intact. Some of them, some of them are mush already. Ooh, what a mess. <laughs> I'm running out of room in my bucket. So I think, you know, if we can minimize all of this large stuff that's clearly going back into the barrel at the end, then we can maybe prevent a big mess from happening here anything to kind of lessen the load on what I'm doing because this thing is so heavy it's not just something I can pick up and 
empty into the wheelbarrow it's going to have to be more or less tipped over and poured out so I'm just trying to reduce the potential of that turning into a big disaster it's also kind of fun looking at how many worms are inhabiting this stuff they're pretty much everywhere all over the place but I think I'm almost at that point where I'm ready to require both hands to try to empty this thing over into the wheelbarrow so we'll check back in in a minute once I've got the um, the outcome of this next step to show you <laughs> you know I started scraping around here on the top and I started encountering like a clear layer of stuff that was you know stuff like this you know discernible objects within kind of a mushy material followed by something that looked like a much more well-defined stuff you know like this looks to me like it's almost clearly you know castings only anymore so I thought that this stuff here on this this layer floating above it I thought I would start extracting that too um, and you know why because this thing is still so heavy that I couldn't really figure out any way to unload its contents into the wheelbarrow so I was already resorting to the um, idea of shoveling the stuff out but you know I did notice there was sort of this distinct layer of um, stuff that's clearly not large chunk materials like that freshly loaded into the system but stuff that's already been in there for a while obviously I didn't pick out the stuff that's you know hardly even broken down yet but it was it was just another you know I guess another opportunity to try to lessen the weight of this thing before I try to somehow empty it and I'm still not sure how to do it but I've already got a shovel so I'm thinking I might just end up shoveling it out I, I kicked around ideas of maybe um, trying to roll it up onto a higher point so that I can just empty it into the wheelbarrow and it all seems so clumsy and riddled with the um, possibility of making a huge mess out here in my yard so either way I think we're almost at that point where we're going to be able to unload this thing and get the repair started but um, I'm still trying to figure out how to deal with it. <laughs> Well, you know, I grabbed the shovel, and as soon as I sort of pulled up a block of this material down here, holy cow, there was just millions of worms in there. And I, uh, I don't think I got back here quick enough with the camera to provide the full effect of what I saw, because I think a lot of them just immediately started burrowing down. But it does seem like we're in a layer of material here that's extremely densely packed with worms. I don't know, maybe I sort of caught the most picturesque portion of it a moment ago and I don't know I think you get the idea because there is just so much going on here I never even got as far as extracting the first uh, shovels worth of stuff because I just figured I'd want to capture just a bit of it on the camera but I think it's time to really make some progress and get this thing emptied well we finally made it to the bottom Eventually I was able to scoop out enough that I could just lift up the barrel and empty it into the wheelbarrow and as you can see the wheelbarrow has got a lot of stuff in it and there's a lot of stuff in here that's also like large pieces of wood and things that would take forever to break down. I got a feeling that those things are going to get sorted out too but I think the next step is going to be for me to go through this stuff and start picking out the really big chunks or maybe I should tend to the repair of the container because then I'll have somewhere to put that stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to deal with that next. There we go. Good as new. <laughs> so some people might be asking, hey, you've already got a mended um, container there. Why not just switch to using this thing? Well, you know why? Because this thing sits right outside my kitchen door. It's visible from the street. It's darker in color, and I just thought that it wouldn't stick out like me having just a garbage pail in my yard. This thing sort of sits next to the tree by the bush, blends in. So I think that's the main reason I've been going with this um, container, just because of its somewhat darker color. So um, besides that, you know, this thing sits upside down over the leaf bag where I store my outdoor supply of leaves. So this one's also already kind of in a commissioned state and has a job. So I think the time has come to start reloading this thing. Um, but not with everything. Some of the stuff that's in this um, wheelbarrow will get pulled out. All these things like these large uh, sticks and things. But anything that looks to me like it's um, pretty close to being broken down and is pretty fine material, I thought I would place it into these um, grow bags. I consolidated the material that was in these. I was just kind of 
storing some material that I was growing plants in, but then I, uh, I figured, hey, if I, you know, pour some of the less fill containers over into some of the other containers, I can free up a couple of these. And I thought that this stuff might be good for letting some of the nearly finished compost really work its way down to the finish point, and um, then it'll just be ready for use in the garden come springtime. So that's where we stand now. We'll check in again when we have more to show. As you can see, I'm going through the material. This stuff over here, I've kind of already combed my fingers through it a number of times and taken out a good bit of material. Uh, you saw in this little pail over here, the sort of stuff I've been extracting. I've not yet really um, taken this batch of material here and sort of blessed it as being, um, you know, freed of all the large chunk materials that I could find. I figured I'd go through it a little bit more, but once I do, the next stop for this stuff is going to be the grow bags. And it seems to me like the stuff should dry out pretty nicely in the grow bags. Probably pretty fast. At which point the material might be a little bit easier to handle. Right now it is a bit more damp than like your typical worm bin down in your wormery. But I figure if we let this stuff dry out a little bit, there might come a point at which we can begin trying to lure the worms out of this material um because i would think that it's probably pretty much depleted of most edible stuff this stuff to me seems like it's mainly castings i mean obviously there's got to be stuff still in it probably in pretty good amounts so i'm almost at that point where i feel like i could you know start unloading some of this stuff that's been um cleaned out down into the grow bags so that's kind of where I stand right now and um, the work continues all right so I've actually started into the extraction of the finished compost placing it down into the vermi bag not in vermi bag the grow bag <laughs> it does seem to me like a single layer bag like this is probably going to allow for a good amount of moisture to escape so hopefully the stuff will start to dry out and then at some point soon I think all these worms we're seeing will probably um, start thinking that they could find themselves a little something better out there than what they've got maybe um, enabling us to try to set up a baiting area to lure them out of this stuff and maybe round them up put them to some other use and as you can see, there's lots of worms in this stuff, that's for sure. All right, so this was just my first um, batch of stuff that I was kind of considering pretty well sifted through and has had all the large chunk stuff taken out of it. Every now and then I bump into something like this, which seems to me like a, a pit, maybe a plum pit or a peach pit. I found a half a dozen of these already. And they all belong in here. I was also pulling out labels and stickers and other things that aren't going to break down. So this is sort of my final chance at quality control. But I do need to keep reminding myself that this was meant to be a quick and dirty process. I didn't really want to try to get this in depth with it. But as with everything, it always seems like once you've got the, the work started, kind of like you're uh, you're in your car and once the hood's open you know if you already checked the oil then why not use that opportunity to make sure you got enough coolant and everything else so I don't know if, I don't know if that's a, a good <laughs> analogy or metaphor for what I'm trying to say but I think you get the point Ooh, be careful not to drop this stuff so I don't want to overload these bags either I think it'll settle a little bit but I also don't want to make them extremely heavy or overpopulated. I want to allow this stuff to be able to air out and dry. So I might even um, try to round up another bag if I feel like I'm not going to have enough space in these two. But we'll see where uh, we'll see where this leads. Seems like we're making progress. So now one of the things I keep bumping into, and this isn't all of it because I've already thrown about this much of it away, and now it's starting to stack up again. It's the little labels off of things, and there's all the other odds and ends in here that are not going to break down. Some of this. 
um, fabric that's like meant to suppress weeds out in the garden I had some of that here and there but um you know this collection of stuff that I've been extracting from the compost is collecting it's certainly not accumulating the way I thought it would I thought we'd have a lot more and um, and now I'm already up to the point where I've got a second bag almost full luckily besides these used bags that I've already had in service for a while now I've got a couple brand new never used ones too we can resort to and it's starting to look like we're going to need a third one in the end i might end up stacking these up a little bit higher than i thought i would but i don't want to go over three bags i think with three of these bags we'll have a really nice collection of pretty much finished compost stuff that these worms that inhabit this stuff can continue to work on and maybe at some point we can harvest the castings and collect up the worms and get them working somewhere else so we're, um, we're making pretty good progress here, but it's starting to get late, and um, it's getting darker. I'd really like to get this job done and get my compost barrel back into service and get everything cleaned up and put away before, uh, before it gets dark here. So I'm going to put the camera down and press on. Hopefully we'll be done soon. Well, I've gone ahead and I've gotten the third bag, and I thought it was a new one because it's over by the one that's still in the in the container. I mean, I, it came in a plastic bag, and there's still one left in the plastic bag. And I thought that this other one that wasn't in the plastic bag was also a new one, had just been taken out of the plastic bag. So, uh, whatever. I guess I've still got one brand new one remaining. But I'm almost down to the point where I've removed all the little lingering bits of sticks and stems and stuff that I don't want to have in here which means I could start hauling this stuff out into the third grow bag and I think we're gonna be done and all we got to do is kind of reload the um, the compost barrel and then it's a done deal so we're getting there okay I've gone ahead and I put the compost barrel back where it belongs over by the outdoor worm bag and as you can see I've completed the whole job here of sort of picking through the material and putting all this stuff that to me appeared like pretty much finished compost loaded with worms into these three grow bags and what we were left with within these three smaller containers is all those things that still appear to need some more time to continue so they're going to go back into the compost barrel and along with this stuff I'm going to um, include some leaves and some other bedding because I think that'll probably just help in the breakdown process but I've just freed up a whole lot of room in my compost barrel I think paving the way for um, a winter of having some place to put all my kitchen scraps and stuff that needs to go um, go out. So I'm going to, um, I don't know, I think I'm going to call it quits on the video here because all I've got to really do is empty these things back into the compost barrel and put some stuff away, but that's all boring. I don't want to waste your time with that. Before I go really quick though, let me say thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please remember to leave me a quick thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.